going on everyone? 4 and 3 Boat is back with another video. So I got my American flag gear on today. It is the 4th of July. Happy birthday America. And what I'm going to show you is we revived the abandoned go-kart. So if you are a long time subscriber and you've watched this thing over the years, we haven't had a video on this in probably a good two years. So, quick backstory. This thing, I picked this up just over three years ago for $100. That's right, $100. And I put about 400 into it at the time, just got it running and driving. And so we, we raged the thing for a good year and a half or so, and it pretty much completely locked up and just shut off and dragged it out in the middle of the woods and brought it home and it kind of sat for a while so what we ended up finding like a year or so ago was pretty embarrassing there was crap inside the fuel tank so There used to be some kind of little filter right here, like a pre-filter, and that disintegrated and I wasn't getting fuel out or enough fuel. So it would kind of run on, it kind of run on like starting fluid and stuff, but it wouldn't stay running and ended up cleaning the carb and redoing the fuel lines, fixing that issue with that tank. And uh, yeah, so we ended up raging it for quite a few months after that. And it was it was getting a lot of blow by, like severe blow by last fall. And I knew, all right, it's, it's time for a full rebuild. So what we did was tore it out and did a full Glixel top end. We did the cylinder, the rings, I should say the whole cylinder jug, the piston, the rings, the gaskets, um, new valve, Glixel uh, cylinder head with all the valves already in it. Um, come to find out those aren't very good, so I wish I wouldn't have thrown away the factory head, but it is what it is. So I'll put up some pictures below what happened to uh, with that process. I took a little bit of a video and... Uh, yeah. Well, we've got clutch out, basically top half off. The head is over there. I'm not s certain, but I don't think we're supposed to have that much movement. Valves are pretty gunked up. So, cleaned the carb, rejetted the carb to where this should be with the ghetto intake that I have and pro circuit muffler off like a 125 or whatever kids dirt bike this came off of. And yeah, so we got it running probably a good two months ago I think, I think like Memorial Day we we uh for Memorial Day weekend we got it raging and I'm working on this today I just stuck a piece of metal here I'm gonna uh make some brackets that I bought kind of tack that together and figure out a solution but right now in order for me to just kind of zip it around the yard here just to show you guys that it runs um work in progress so I'm going to be doing that today. Also, one thing that I did was I just did these plastic body panels. All I did was pull the seats out and I just had this ABS sheeting um, for years from one of my old jobs. And I just basically just cut a chunk out and just kind of traced it and made a template. And I just drilled holes 
and zip tied it. And yeah, it's definitely ghetto, but it's it's actually pretty pretty sturdy. And that's really just for for branches. So we were out ripping it on Memorial Day, and uh, my buddy caught a branch through and it went up into his leg and thankfully it didn't cut him because we were flying so it probably would have did a good amount of damage to his leg so I said you know what it's time I'm gonna make some panels for this thing so did the plastic panels I'm working on doing a hood and a roof for it but yeah also what we did back to the motor sorry I'm all over the place ADHD we did new axle bearings with the whole flange kit. And I'll put everything that I used below in the description. Brand new brake rotor, because that was bent all the hell. And what we did too was pulled the whole clutch cover off. And I'll show you what the clutch looked like. It was, it was pretty bad. Um clutch was spanked that had a fat burn mark and a gouge in it changed the whole uh, clutch shoe and basket place that all glixel we also did a brand new belt and we did um, we went away from the original 13 gram rollers which were clapped and we did 12 I believe 12 gram sliders and that has been great for engine braking And this thing, where we ride this, it's all hilly terrain. So that's pretty much where we needed to be with this thing. And I think it's a good combination. I definitely want to lift up the front, put some bigger tires on it. But yeah, so I'll start it up. You can see it's cold. And I haven't ran this in like three weeks. I actually just turned the fuel on. Um, we had a ton of wiring issues, a ton of wiring issues. So that's still kind of a nightmare, but we sorted it out and ran these lights up here to the uh, stator. I didn't know we had a broken wire in here and one of the wires was for lights. So flip the switch. Just like that. This hasn't ran in three weeks. So I actually just backed out the fuel screw on this about a half turn. I didn't really think that it was out enough. But yeah. Obviously, I got that up there just to let you guys hear it run. Lights are working with the stator. Idling nice and low. Barely tap the throttle. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you that the $100 abandoned go kart lives. And if you guys wanna see more go kart content, please let us know. I love building these things, I love working on these things. And Tyler has one, he's unsure which direction he wants to take with it. And I'm trying to get everyone to get go-karts the whole 413 builds family so we can rip them around but if that's something you're interested in please let us know down below all the parts used in what I've done and 
what I have uh, shown you guys, I'll put in the description below. And we'll see you on the next one. Later.